Hello, saxophone players. This is working on the Seven Nation Army alto saxophone part, and my forehead is chopped off so you can see my right hand. That's more important than my forehead. Before I play, I want to talk about mouthpiece placement, because occasionally in class, somebody's like this, or this. And if your head is at a weird angle, please twist your mouthpiece so that it is flat and your head can be flat while you play. It's adjustable. Adjust it. Alrighty, so we have two sharps in our key signature, and then they're overpowered. Um, there's a, th a theoretical reason for that that we're not even going to talk about at your level of training. So we have D, D, F, natural. That's pointy finger. That's not a sharp sign. That's a natural sign. D, D, F. I would play it D, D, F, but to show you D, D, F, I'm pulling these fingers away. You should not pull the fingers away. Your fingers should just float really close. So D, D, F. Thumb, one, two, three stays down. Four stays down. All that's moving are those two. First three notes. Listen. Finger along. Ready? And get your instrument up and play along. One, two, ready. After that, we go back down to the D. So we just put those two fingers back down. From beginning, add a note. Ready? After that's a C natural. Nothing fancy about a C natural. It's the same as regular C. It's just finger two. Make sure we're taking the thumb away because it is not a high C. I'm not going to pull my thumb really far away when I'm playing it. That's just to demonstrate to you. When I'm playing, you really can't even see what that thumb's doing. That's why we're talking about it. Whole first measure. One, two, ready. After the C, we need a B flat. We're going to keep this finger down. B flat is one, two, bottom side. So we're going to add finger one and the bottom side key at the same time. So for side keys, we're not talking about these up here in the left-hand palm. Those are called palm keys. It's these three. Some of you have this one, some of you don't. It's a high F-sharp key. We're actually not going to use it in middle school at all. Some of you have this. It's a trill key. We're actually not going to use it in middle school at all. Your saxophone may not have those two. These are the pinky keys. We're not talking about them right now. There's three that are stacked completely up and down on top of each other, usually rectangular shaped. So instead of hitting finger four here, we're going to take whatever part of our hand or our finger naturally hits right where that button is and hit the bottom side key. Not the middle one, not the top one, the one closest to the bottom. And we are not bringing our fingertip back to hit it. Bottom of our side, of our uh, whatever, bottom side key, whatever part of the hand hits it naturally. So we've got D, D, F, D, C, B flat. From C, I'm going to exaggerate the movement from C to B flat. C, B flat. No, your hand should not move this far. I'm just showing you where it is. All right, let's try that. It's a one measure plus one note. One, two, ready? Now from the B flat to the A, all you do is lift this one side key because you've already got the one, two pressed up here. So B flat is that, A is that. I'm gonna exaggerate the movement. B flat, we're pressing this one, A we're not. From beginning, ready? <laughs> measure three is identical to measure one. Let's skip to measure four. So in measure four, we have a B flat, a C natural, and then a B with nothing in front of it. But that's not a regular B, because the rule for accidentals is that they follow that letter name for the rest of the measure. So in measure four, the third note is also a B flat. So in measure four, we have B flat, C, B flat, A. I'm going to exaggerate the movement. B flat, C, B flat, A. All right, measure four. One, two, ready. <laughs> And now let's combine measures one, two, three, and four. One, two, ready. Yeah. 
you're going to notice 5, 6, 7, 8 are identical. 9, 10, 11, 12 are identical. 13, 14, 15, 16 are identical. 17, 18, 19, 20 are identical. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 are identical. So you've learned almost all of the song. We just have a low F natural whole note, a low G whole note. And now we've covered the whole song. Two whole notes and four measures that repeat. Work on it until you get super awesome at it. Thanks.